Theirs and SM57s go together like peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. Last time, we used the Audio-Technica kit pack and two ST55s to record our drums. But this time, I'm gonna show you a slightly nicer way to do it. First thing we're doing is replacing the kit pack with an Audix DP5 kit. This is a pretty big jump in quality and price. It's gonna run about $500. This time, we're actually getting mics that are tailored for the drums we're about to record. The D6 is made for a kick drum. The two D2s and the one D4 are made for toms. The I5 is made for a snare drum, but we're actually gonna use it as a hi-hat microphone. On the snare, we're gonna be using two Shure SM57s. Snares and SM57s go together like peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. And at 100 bucks each, this isn't too big of a price difference. Next up, we've replaced our ST55 overheads with Aventone CK1 small diaphragm condenser microphones. You can get the pair for about $300. Finally, we have a ST55 in the mix, and we're gonna be using it as a kick out. That's putting our grand total at about $1,000 give or take. Again, everything is gonna be ran through the Scarlett 18i20, first generation. So here we have our mid-tier drum kit. First thing you might notice, we have a five-piece kit this time. The DP5 allows three toms, so I just went ahead and threw one up there. So we have two D4s on our rack toms, and then we have a D2 on our floor tom. Like the last video, we have the mics about three fingers off, pointing directly in the middle. We have the same configuration for our snare top and bottom. Don't forget to flip the phase on that snare bottom. We have our Aventone CK1s, and like before, we made sure they're equidistant from the snare drum. So for the kick in, we have our lovely D6. Replacement is basically the exact same as before, right in the middle, pointing at the beater. We've added our ST55 as the kick out about six inches from the drum itself. And lastly, for the hi-hat, we have our i5 pointing parallel at the hi-hat. This is a new thing I picked up recently and I've been doing it a lot. I really like it. Let's see how it sounds. That sounded pretty good, especially when you have a little bit more microphones to draw from. Next up, we're gonna be throwing costs out the window, and we're gonna be miking the drums the most ideal way possible. We're also gonna be going to a nicer studio with a much nicer tuned drum room. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you on the next one.